Hey everybody, what's up? This is Brian, and uh, I want to talk to you about the the, the latest network marketing company shutdown. I, you know, I'm not going to use any names here, but we all kind of know uh, instinctively that there's something going on in the industry. I mean, the, recently the FTC just shut a company down. Um, that had been in business for a really long time and had a product that a lot of people really love. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the drawing board here and I'm going to talk to you guys about a problem in our industry right now. It's called internal consumption. Um, internal consumption. Okay. And this is kind of an industry term because you're not going to find this, uh, you know, written up in any official manuals or anything like that. But basically, here's what internal consumption means. It means that if you've got a company that, ha even if the company has really fantastic product in the network marketing industry, if your company is primarily marketing its goods or services through the distributors or the builders themselves, then you essentially have a one-to-one -one customer to, dis to distributor ratio. In other words, only the distributors are buying the product or service. Now, it's really not quite that severe. Across the board in our industry, it's usually about 2.5 to 1. So for every one builder or business owner, you have 2.5 customers, okay? This is a terrible, terrible, terrible thing for our industry. This is the reason why these, this company recently got shut down. This is the reason why many other companies have gotten shut down in the past. And that's because the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, and the SEC, and the, the, regulate, the regulatory agencies of the country, they look at this and they say basically this is a pyramid because only the people that are in the business are buying the product or service. So it's kind of a giant self-licking ice cream cone. It's, I'm going to use this widget here that I don't need. I'm going to buy it every month. And if I can get a bunch of other people to buy it every month, then I can make a bunch of money. Even though nobody wants the widget, there's not that much value in the widget. But if we can just get enough people buying the widget, then I'm going to make a ton of money. And that is illegal in this country, interestingly enough. So if we really want to avoid trouble with the, the, the federal government of the United States, if we really want to find an opportunity that's going to provide some real, true, long-term residual income for you and I and for our families, we need to find a company that has somewhere better than a 10 to 1 distributor to customer ratio. Okay, it has something has to be greater than 10 to 1 for it to truly be a customer driven model. And let me tell you why this is important, because if you don't have at least this, then that means that anyone that joins the company has to be a master recruiter because all of the money flows from the sale of products and services so or or sign up fees which is even worse okay but i'm assuming it's a legitimate company and everything flows from the sale of products and services well if that's true but the only people buying the products and services are the distributors then in order to create any kind of volume at all in your business you're going to need to have a lot of distributors which means you need to be a master recruiter. Well, guess what? 97 plus percent of the population, they're not great recruiters. And so what happens is they're going to stop making money relatively or they're not going to make any money at all. Um, and in very short order, they're going to get tired of paying that $150 to $200 a month auto ship and they're just going to bail out. And when they bail out, if, if you got a ratio that looks like this or like this, when those people bail out, they take the revenue with them. But if you can find a company that's got a ratio like this, then even if this person bails out, this distributor bails out, there's still nine customers still in the system buying the product, buying the service, creating an ongoing residual income for you, which is the whole reason why we're doing this, right? It's the whole reason why we're in the industry. So for example, my company, the company I'm with, has a 400 to 1 customer to distributor ratio. So even if somebody in my organization decides they want to leave, they don't want to be a builder anymore, they leave behind 399 paying customers that are creating residual income. And think about how large of a customer base you can create when you have ratios ranging anywhere from 10 or in my case all the way up to 400. I encourage you, if you're looking into this industry to find out what works and what doesn't, I encourage you to take a look, a serious look at this customer to distributor ratio to determine if you're dealing with internal consumption because if you are it's doomed to failure and 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 if it's not doomed to failure purely from an economical standpoint the co the government's going to shut it down and we're already seeing this happen so if you want to see what a company looks like that has a large customer to distributor ratio you can click on the link below the video it'll take you to workingwithbrian.com i'll give you a full breakdown of our company and how it works and everything else but you know whether you get involved with our company or whether you find another one altogether i just encourage you so strongly to look hard look hard 
at who's buying the product or service. If it's only the distributors, it's doomed to failure.